Well, more than 100 people each and every month rely on help from the East Tennessee Kidney Foundation. Their services help make living with kidney disease more bearable, both emotionally and financially. Well, new here at 530, we visited with one man who is so thankful for the transportation assistance he receives for his three trips to the clinic each and every week. It should be one here, one here, and one starting here. 66-year-old James Fitzgerald spends a lot of his time here in the spring and summer. He started this garden several years ago, but once the vegetables come in, he won't be able to eat most of them. I stay very active. Uh, you notice the garden across the street. Uh, I grow, grow it and uh, pass it out to uh, people in the development. James can't eat many of these vegetables because of his strict diet as someone living with kidney disease. To survive, he gets dialysis three times a week. That first uh, first couple of months, uh, very depressing, uh, scared to death. My first time there, it just scared me to death. Dialysis is essentially a filtration process for your blood. Dialyzers like this one clean the blood, then pump it back into a patient's body. The main purpose they'll have is to clean your blood of uh, and that's about a three, three and a half, sometimes four hour process. Doctors have told James he is a candidate for a transplant, but he has a very personal reason for not pursuing that route right now. My son has said, Daddy, I, I, you know, I'll give you a kidney. My daughter, the same thing. But uh, since it seems to be uh, a history of it in my family, then I don't want to put them in the situation that I'm going through. And for now, he will continue to go to a clinic like this three times a week, arriving before the sun comes up. It's expensive and time consuming, but the East Tennessee Kidney Foundation helps defray the cost through its transportation program. All right, everyone, stories just like this are exactly the reason why Six News has chosen the East Tennessee Kidney Foundation as our next day of service project. And here to talk more about the upcoming Blanket Drive is the Foundation's Executive Director, Katie Martin. Katie, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Kristen. You know, we just talked with Mr. Fitzgerald, and he was talking about the transportation program and how much that helps him. He has to go to the clinic three times a week. Explain how the transportation program works. Yes, great, definitely. Well, our transportation program works by helping dialysis patients who have to go to their dialysis treatments three times a week. It gets very expensive, especially mm -hmm. when they live far away from the clinic. So what our program does is we reimburse those patients what they've incurred in their transportation and cost and getting to and from the clinic so that that's just one less thing that they have to pay for that month. That's a big worry off a lot of people's shoulders and you guys mm. offer a lot of other programs as well. I know you have three major programs. Explain some of the other ones to us. Yes, well uh, that's our dialysis transportation program. Our other programs are our dental assistance program and our nutritional supplement program. Mm. Our nutritional supplement program helps people in all dialysis clinics all in East Tennessee we get a grant from McKema Club and we get um, nutritional supplements like protein bars, uh, protein drinks, mm -hmm. and we get to deliver those to all the clinics in the area so all the patients get access to those. Also, our dental assistance program helps people who are trying to get cleared for a dental trans or a um, get, kidney transplant. Yes, kidney transplant. So they need that dental clearance, which is essential. If they don't have that clearance, then a kidney comes available for them, completely passes them over. And I think a lot of people don't realize that because a lot of infections and things can live in the mouth. So it's very important they have that dental clearance or they can't even get that life saving kidney. Yes, exactly. They need that dental clearance, exactly, or they can't even be on the kidney transplant waiting list. You know, we're asking people to come out here tomorrow. We're all going to be out here on the front yes. lawn getting blankets, donations. It's going to be a wonderful day of helping your organization. Explain to everyone how important your organization is here in East Tennessee and all of the money and all the fundraising efforts stay right here locally, doesn't it? Yes, yes, they do. That's something very unique about our organization that a lot of people don't understand. Um, we are the East Tennessee Kidney Foundation. We are completely local. Everything we do, all the fundraising we do, everything stays right here in East Tennessee and goes back to help people who are here locally suffering from kidney disease. Um, the blanket drive is so important tomorrow because when you undergo dialysis, it is so very cold and chilling and uncomfortable. Um, people oftentimes wear hats, gloves, scarves. 
a blanket is just a necessity for these patients. And sometimes when they're so low income, they can't afford to just go buy a nice new blanket. Yeah, and I think that's really important to point out to people. A lot of times they can't afford it. And on top of it, there's also you know health reasons. Once they get a little bit tattered and worn, they have to be thrown out. You can't be bringing things like that into an environment like that. Right, and that you don't want to have to share blankets. You want to have your own blanket that's yours. Right. All right, Katie, there's so much more we could talk about. We will be talking with you a whole bunch tomorrow. Yes, we appreciate you. you coming in, and we're excited about getting all of this together for tomorrow. Again, everyone, that blanket drive being held tomorrow right here on the 6 News lawn starting at 6 o'clock in the morning. We are asking you to help us out to donate blankets, hats, even gloves. We're going to wrap things up around 6.30. We have all kinds of information on our website at WATE.com. Just click on our community section. Also, there will be some goodies there, some prizes if you donate a blanket. There's also some giveaways from some uh, local organizations that are jumping in. And Santa will be here as well, so make sure you come on down.